Aida for getting mad at my parents for forcing me to wear a tampon. I 15 f my first period about a year and a half ago. My mother 46 f had her last period about 12 years ago due to a period stopping medication. I decided that I was not going to use tampons, a personal preference that both of my parents did not approve of. Their argument was that I had to try something new and deal with my periods in a more efficient, sanitary way I use pads. Also, I take out my own bathroom trash on my period in her sanitary. About it they thought tampons were more practical and less to deal with, yet my mother could not help me because it had been so long that she forgot what it feels like. I refused to put in a tampon, saying that it made me uncomfortable and that I was not ready. They did not talk to me for a week until I put one in, which I didn't. I got my period at sleepaway camp two weeks later and wanted to make my parents proud, so I learned to put in a tampon with the help of a camp mom. Long story short, it was a disaster. Although I am glad I tried it, I will probably not do it again. When I told my parents, they were not proud and just said that it was something that I needed to learn even though I was completely fine before. I think it was totally unnecessary that my parents didn't talk to me for an entire week over a personal decision that shouldn't even concern them. But I can't help but think, were they in the right? Am I the asshole? Note, they allow me to use pads, but they want to find a better alternative for them. I would also like to note that I swim a lot, however I have. Period swimsuits. Aita for refusing to attend my girlfriend's interpretive dance recital that's all about our relationship. Edit, I still think I wasn't the asshole, but I have decided to go. I'll stop responding as I have to figure out a few things. Thanks to everybody here. Wish me luck lol. I 26M have been dating my girlfriend 24F. Let's call her Bambi. For about 1.5 years now. Bambi is a delightfully eccentric individual, which is what attracted me to her in the first place. She's a passionate interpretive dancer think twirling around in the park to the tune of Bird. Songs, not the kind of stuff you see on Broadway. I've always supported her passion, despite it being a bit out of my wheelhouse. I'm more of a sit on the couch and watch football kind of guy. A couple of weeks ago, Bambi excitedly announced that she's been working on a dance recital, a one-woman show that represents the journey of our relationship. While I was flattered, I was also slightly horrified. Now, I love Bambi, but her interpretive dances tend to be, let's just say unconventional. This past week, she gave me a sneak preview of the show which included interpretive movements of our first day, our first fight, and, brace yourselves, our first time in the bedroom. There was a lot of rolling around on the floor, and at one point, she mimmed out an argument we had over who used the last of the toilet paper I still maintain it was her. The final straw came when she performed an interpretive rendition of a particularly nasty bout of food poisoning we both got from bad takeout. Let's just say that her depiction of the aftermath was so vivid, I nearly relived the experience right then and there, seeing all of this, I told her that I couldn't attend the recital. I said that while I appreciate her talent and her creativity, I'm not comfortable with our private moments being shared with a room full of strangers. This led to a huge fight. She accused me of not supporting her art and told me that if I loved her, I would be at the show, front row and center dot 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 so. Reddit, Aida for not wanting to watch my girlfriend twirl around on stage in a metaphorical reenactment of our relationship, including our most intimate and sometimes awkward moments. Or should I just suck it up and wear my best game face while she mimics the time I tripped and fell into a duck pond on our third date? Aida for telling my fianc her sister isn't invited to our wedding. So, myself 27M and my fianc 28F have been together close to a year, engaged for half of that. We are planning a wedding in the fall of 24 and have started a guest list. She comes from a big family and I am an only child. We are close with one of her sisters in particular and often went to visit her and play board games and such. This sister has a fianc and is pregnant. Recently, my fianc told me that her sister was having a shotgun wedding before the baby arrived in, order to keep with their traditional values and appease familial religious desires, back up a bit. I've done a lot for her sister and soon-to-be husband. I planned a birthday party for his son from another marriage. I've given her rides, always brought small gifts when I would visit. I've gone as far as to stop everything I was doing to help her during a health scare while she was pregnant. I really felt like a part of the family. Fast forward dot 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 in a text to my fianc upon announcing her wedding. Her sister made it a point to say, it's a small wedding, no plus ones. Op can come to the dinner afterwards, all fine by me. I honestly don't really mind, as ceremonies can be dull and I understood why she would only want to have immediate family at her small wedding. 
I woke up on the day of the wedding to help my fianc get ready and drive her over to her sister's house. I planned on driving my fianc, her sister, and her sister's soon-to-be husband to the venue and bringing them to the dinner afterwards. My fianc told me, it's okay, just drop me off at my sister's and we will get a ride over. A little odd, but I was fine with that too. I arrived over there and as my fianc got out of the car I asked if I could come in and congratulate them. She seemed hesitant and said, uh, okay. Let me just text my sister to make sure. I was dressed in plain clothes and was hesitantly invited to come inside. We walked up to the house. Inside was a party of her siblings and their friends and significant others all dressed up. They all looked at me and didn't say much. I saw another one of her sisters and her new boyfriend was in a suit. Everyone was invited. The no plus one ease only applied to me. I immediately left and in a text told my fianc they were off the guest list for our wedding. My fianc is upset at that, because her sister is her close friend. She said maybe I did something to upset them which is why I wasn't invited. But I've been nothing but kind and caring to her entire family. I've spent hundreds of dollars and gone above and beyond for everyone. Now we are fighting over this. Aita. Aita for not letting anyone share my table at the park. I work in a large city. When it's nice out I usually like to eat lunch at a park near my office. It is a decent-sized park with an ample amount of tables that anyone can use. On one particular lunch break, it was very nice out and the park was particularly crowded. I had to circle the park for a while before finding a free table. I sat and started to eat my lunch. My lunch spread and my handbag took up the majority of the table. A few minutes went by and a woman approached me, asking if she could sit. I said she could take a chair. It turned out I'd misunderstood her and she wanted to share the table. I was taken aback. Since of all the lunch breaks I spent sitting by myself in this park, this was the first time I'd ever been asked to share a table. The table, like the majority of tables around the park, was small, only around a feet across. One would see two minus three friends or co-workers share tabies, but there wasn't much personal space, and I really didn't want to share with a stranger. I apologized and said I really preferred to eat alone. She looked dejected and left. Only a few minutes later, a man approached me asking to share the table. I said sorry, I wanted to eat alone. He proceeded to put his belongings down anyway, saying that him asking was only a courtesy. And he couldn't believe I said actually said no I was pissed and I told him that he could do what I did in Circle Park till a table opened up. He called me a beach and went off on me saying he just needed the table for a minute to fix his belongings. I went silent, wanting this interaction to end. He ended up apologizing to me, and I said sorry as well just to get him to leave me alone, Aida for not wanting to share my table with strangers. I'd always share a table at like a cafe with only a few tables, or if the tables were large, but in this situation I think I'm entitled to my personal space. This park has approximately 100 tables, one was bound to free up for them. If not, there are more tables a few blocks over. Aida for throwing away my mom's sandwich. My mom always packs a snack whenever she travels usually a ham and cheese sandwich. I was driving her to the airport this morning and on the ride down it came up that she hadn't had time to go to the deli and had packed herself a tuna salad sandwich instead. I asked if it was to eat in the airport. No. She's saving it in case she gets peckish midair. I tried to tell her that tuna isn't something you should really be eating in close quarters with recycled air, that the smell would probably bother other people. She was adamant that there was nothing wrong with it. I told her that if I was on that plane it would bother me. She didn't budge. So while she was unloading her luggage from the trunk, I snuck the sandwich out of her carry-on and tossed it in the garbage. She didn't notice until she got through security and then I got a pissed off text. I told her to get something in the airport and I'll pay her back, but tuna really isn't a plain friendly snack. Am I the asshole? Aida for telling my mother to stay out of mine and my son's life at my wedding, so I F24 up until 3 years ago was a single mother of my son M7. Now I live with my M29 husband Brandon and am 5 months pregnant with my daughter. I was a teen mom, who didn't make the best decisions, but I love my son to bits, and wouldn't have it any other way. However, my mother despises my son, and thinks he ruined my life, and is the reason I didn't go to college. I am a hairdresser. My mother is convinced it isn't a real job. Last month, at my wedding, my mother lost her temper, and started screaming at my son that he was a mistake and that he ruined my life. After that I told her that I never wanted to see her again and to stay out of our lives. Brandon and I got her to leave. She posted on Facebook that her only daughter turned her back on her. Now I'm getting calls from family telling me to apologize. 